What's going on guys? My name is Andrew James. Welcome back to a new video. I just moved back to New York City and I wanted to make a little vlog about it. When I'm thinking about new videos or projects, I like to have something to do with my hands. So I just throw the ball against the wall. I lived in New York for a couple of years back between 2019 through the end of 2020. I moved away because of COVID and now I'm back. I'm joined by my friend Preston. Yo, what's up? This is my new editing setup. I've got this couch here for when people want to come and crash. This is my little kitchen kitchenette, got a closet over there, and then if you guys come up with me upstairs, this is my loft. This is where I sleep. I put up a little TV here, so when I'm chilling. But yeah, this is the new apartment. I'm getting pretty good. First thing I do when I wake up is I usually make a matcha and I make breakfast. So that's what we're gonna go do now. One day that I'm there, do a video like this, yeah. just like a day in the life. Kind of be, that's really good, yeah. It'd be fun, Especially right? if you're traveling. Especially stuff. if you're traveling. I want to get. We've got some avocado, my famous hash browns, and then the worst egg ever cooked by any human ever. And then I've got some matcha right here. I'm a big fan of matcha lattes right now, but if you get one in New York, it's like $9 a latte, which is crazy. <laughs> This is the the sorcerer himself. His name's Liam, otherwise known as the God of the Rubes. <laughs> I'm learning the ways. This is my new camera bag. It's for the nighttime boat rides. Ollie got the first edition part of roadside. The only sign of struggling is coming from those guys. This is the Pro Master Cityscape. I'll have it linked down below. I like the look of it because it doesn't exactly look like a camera bag. And even though it's so small, I can fit a ton of stuff in here. Definitely stoked on this bag. It will be super nice to have something a little more minimal to carry around New York. For anybody who's curious what I do for work, I am a self-identifying travel filmmaker. I'm a freelance filmmaker. I specialize in premium videos for tours and boards and hotels. A lot of my work is through a company called Beautiful Destinations. I used to work for them back in 2019. If you guys are curious what my client work looks like, I'm gonna link my portfolio down below. You guys can check it out. And if you're a client and you need videos, you should hire me. Today's the first day that we actually have sun since I moved back to the city. 
and it feels so good out. Do you guys see this building right here? This is the old Beautiful Destinations office. I'll never forget my first day as an intern. I was 17, I was walking up to the rotating doors. I felt sick, I couldn't have been more nervous, but then as soon as I went inside, everyone was so cool and chill. Right here, this is the one. 419 Park Ave South. By far the coolest part of working in the office was getting to go into work every day with seven other full-time filmmakers. We were able to compare edits, give each other notes on different projects, talk about new camera gear, show each other new camera gear, plan out trips, brainstorm ideas. It was so much fun. Greg! Yo! <laughs> Bro, it looks ridiculous, mm. dog. This is my friend Greg. Greg and I met when we were both interning at Beautiful Destinations. What's up? And he just got the Apple Vision Pro. Do you like them so far? They're so sick. Oh. So, yeah, so sit down. Do you, oh! you see the theater? Oh! Video tracking in After Effects is still so difficult, and yet this looks perfect. It doesn't move at all. It's doing it all in real time. Dude, it looks so good. I'm gonna change my row, though. And it sounds pretty good too, right? It sounds really good. What are you doing in there, buddy? <laughs> I'm in the studio with Alicia Keys. She's literally right here. She's good, man. She's talented. Jeez. <laughs> These goggles are honestly the craziest technology I have ever used in my life. And I'm super curious to see where it goes. Pretty crazy time to be alive. Greg, do you think, uh, do you think everyone's going to have one of these in their house pretty soon? I might take two or three years, but it's coming. Brace yourselves. <laughs> Good seeing you. Peace out. Don't stay in there too long. I'll try. <laughs> Technology is getting so crazy. It's cool, scary, but cool. Oculus ones all have, they don't have like that glass like front. We're talking about the Apple Vision Pro. I'm telling my friend Jed here how crazy it is. This was like honestly one of my first cameras when I wanted to start filming my own stuff. Yeah, bro, we got the camcorder Wait, match, what is this, match with the Cine, bro. Yeah, so you could do like a side-by-side. -side. So this is the gay cam, this is the B cam. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, yeah, yeah. Look, <laughs> no, you look good, dog. You look good. Remy's an FPV pilot, so he's gonna walk us through his rig. Right now, I'm rocking the five inch drone, five inch FPV drone. Uh, this one's a custom built uh, frame through my sponsor, DRP. Shout out to you. And uh, I'm rocking the 1800 KV motors here, 2306s from Axis. And I have the S3 watermelon props from Ethics, beta flight setup. Um, O3 units and I have GPS and the Hero 12. Remy, if you were going to give one piece of advice to anyone who's starting out in FPV, what right. would it be? Go out there and practice as much as you can. Don't don't become a simulation hero, you know, like uh, the, the simulator is amazing for to understand what FPV looks like and what it feels like a little bit, but get out there because there's wind, many different obstacles and things like that and that's basically just just send it man send it but be safe oh shit cops cops oh this looks nice and wide right here yo good to see you Doug. All right, man. take care safe, yeah we're out here at one of my favorite spots in all of new york brooklyn bridge park i love this park because you have views of both the manhattan bridge which is right behind me the brooklyn bridge and then downtown manhattan which has the World Trade Center and the Financial District. I've got a time-lapse going on right now. Because the time-lapse has water in it, I'm doing long exposure. I'm using an ND filter on it, so the shutter is around two seconds right now, and that way it'll just smooth over the water and the whole time-lapse should be nice and silky.
I've been reading this book called The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle. It's a really interesting book about how important it is to be present in your day-to-day -day life. I thought I knew that already. I definitely heard people talk about it, but it wasn't until I read this book that I really felt like I understood just how important those concepts are. Anyways guys, super excited to be back living in New York. I didn't realize how much I missed this place. This is a picture, this one right here. This is a picture that I took last time I lived in New York. I had a line in a video that I made a couple years ago about New York where I said, there's something about the skyline that brings out greatness within people. The line itself is definitely dramatic, but I think there's a hint of truth to it. Thank you guys for viewing this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to give it a like and subscribe. I'm hoping to make a bunch more projects like this as the year goes on. I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.